Tired of some of that same old bland, greasy, fast food fried chicken? Pop into Popeyes and pick up that great original New Orleans flavor. Serve with golden french fries or tasty Cajun rice. Add some crunchy Popeyes onion rings. They're sliced, spiced, and fried just right. Fresh, homemade. Love it. chicken from Popeyes. Hey guys, today we're just going to do a quick video. We saw Popeyes introduced a new bacon and cheese chicken sandwich today, and they did it with the blackened one. So we're going to go pick one up and show them to you and try them out. So are you ready, Bobby? I'm ready. Let's rock and roll. Let's rock and roll. Before we head to the park, we checked our sandwiches this time. We did. We're learning. That was easy to check that, just two sandwiches. The thing I noticed about those, so when I pulled them out to check them, they are very heavy. All right, let's find us a place to eat. Brought our picnic basket. Amish picnic basket. Now we got a nice clean table. Well, we picked up the new mango lemonade. The two new sandwiches today with the bacon and cheese on them. And Bobby got her favorite thing from Popeyes, the apple pie. It's nice how they label these. Blackened chicken sandwich with bacon and cheese. Got it spicy. There's Bobby's original. Also has bacon and cheese. Go ahead and unpack that, Bobby. Let's break down the new bacon and cheese chicken sandwich. Starting off with that buttery brioche bun. I got some applewood smoked bacon on there. What'd you get? About three pieces, it looks like. It's like about four. Four pieces. And you have this Havarti cheese on there. Now we flip it on the bottom and see the bottom of it. There's sauce on top also. There's your crunchy barrel cured pickles and some mayonnaise. And of course, that awesome piece of chicken from Popeyes. Before Bobby tries hers, I'm gonna take these out to compare the blackened one to the original. There it is. Let me just put it beside it. I'll go over it in a second. Looks a lot smaller. Can you see the piece of chicken on there? That one has no breading. That's a pretty big slice of chicken, isn't it? It is. A piece of chicken. Had a nice batter on the chicken, it's nice and crisp. I love the pickles, two nice sized pieces of the pickles. Now the cheese, I'm not sure, maybe there's so much going on. I think it gives maybe more of a buttery flavor when I tried it by itself, but with everything that I tried together, I don't notice it sticking out of the flavors. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The bacon, I like mine a little bit crispier than that. Um, I like the brioche bun. I don't really notice a whole lot of difference other than it having the bacon on it because the cheese, I don't get a lot of flavor from that. Now for me, I'm not a fan of 
bacon on really any of my sandwiches. The cheese, like I said, it don't get a lot of flavor from that. So if I was going to pick, I would just stick with the original sandwich for me. Got the mango lemonade. This is new. I definitely would get this again. You really get that mango flavor. I get a little bit of the lemonade, but I get more of the mango and the sweet flavor. I really like this. Let's go ahead and break down the new blackened bacon and cheese chicken sandwich. Same brioche buns Bobby got. Everything's the same. There's my bacon. Well, it's not too bad. I mean, it's not overly crisp, but it doesn't look too bad. But what I want to show you on this sandwich is the chicken itself. There's no breading on there. All flavor. Now that blackening seasoning is black pepper, garlic powder, paprika, and some chili powder, and some onion powder in there, and some other ones. That's why it looks smaller, because there's no breading compared to Bobby's. No breading to take that flavor. Just going to be chicken and spice. And also got mine spicy with their spicy mayonnaise. There we go. And that cheese on there. It's a different type of cheese to put on it. So I'm going to go right here where I can get this pickle. Get it all. First of all, look at that chicken. Popeye's chicken is always juicy and tender. The cheese, uh, I might get a mild flavor from that. I mean, that's aged cheese. They use that cheese a lot in mac and cheese. Couldn't taste the bacon a lot on there. I think it's overpowered by this blackened chicken. I like the spices in that. I mean, there's no really too much crunch to that. You get a crunch from that pickle. I think very good sandwich. I have some heat going on, but I think it's from all that spicy mayonnaise on there. I'm just going to get one more bite right here to see if I can tell a difference with that bacon. Now on that bite, I didn't get much of the sauce because it wasn't in that corner. I got a lot of that bacon and I could taste that bacon with that spicy filet on there. Blends well together. The cheese hit or miss. I can't really tell again that it's on there. I mean, you do get a little bit of flavor from that. That's pretty good. I know I love the original one. The original one, um, I like the crunch from it. But the black one has some decent taste to it, guys. I've not really tried it. Let me just show you again. There it is. You can see all the seasoning they put on top of that. It's a nice filet. So I don't know which one I like better. The bacon adds some flavor to it when you don't taste it with all that spice. So I would get this again. This was, what, $6 and something. I can't remember what the original cost. I think it's only, what, 4 something. So you're spending a couple extra bucks for this. I don't know if it's worth that or not. I might just get the blackening one or the original by itself. A few moments later. Well, I got through about half this sandwich. And it's a little spicy now. I got a little burn going on back here from that blackening season and that spicy mayonnaise are putting on there. So I'm going to try the new mango lemonade. I needed that. Now, that's pretty good. That's not overly tart or sour. That mango's blending in well. Cause we've had some other mango lemonades before that we didn't care for, but I do like that one. Worth getting. I think they have the best hot apple pies. Sometimes I just like to go by and get one. Just the right size. Get all that cinnamon sugar on there. Share this with John. All those apples. I'll get, give you guys a bite. Well, I have one word for this. Delicious. Stop by and get you one. Just in case you guys were wondering what kind of cheese this is, if you're not familiar with it. It's Hovarty. It's kind of like a Monterey Jack. I decided to try the original one because I'm a huge fan of this sandwich now that I'm trying this black one at the same time. Now Popeye's original chicken is one of my favorite sandwiches, but there's why I look at that piece they give you. But that new blackened one is more flavorful than the original one, in my opinion. Since I have them both here side by side, I can really tell which one I like. And I'm going with that blackened one over this one just because of all the flavors going on in there. I mean, this is very good, but I'm impressed with that one. Here's our receipt at Popeye's. Both sandwiches were $6.49. The mango lemonade only comes in one size, $2.79. The apple pie, $1.89. Grand total, $18.90.
Well, we just got done trying the new bacon and cheese chicken sandwiches at Popeye's. What did you think about them? I liked it. They usually always have good chicken, don't they? They do. That was a nice size piece that I had. I love the breading that they put on it. Those nice two big slices of pickles. But I could go without the bacon and the cheese. For me, I would stick with the original chicken sandwich. What was a dollar fifty more to get those? Those yeah. were six forty nine. The original was four ninety nine. I had the blackened one, and I want to tell you that's a pretty flavorful sandwich. I know when I first bit into it, I couldn't taste a lot of that bacon or that cheese, but the more I ate it, I could taste that bacon. But just the spices of the blackened sandwich itself was just so flavorful. The tender and juicy chicken, and like Bobby touched on, the bun that they use there mm -hmm. is very good quality. So I would get that. Would I pay the extra dollar fifty for the cheese and the bacon on that or just get it plain? I might because I like bacon. And after I ate it all, I could really taste it there at the end. But it does have a little bit of spice to it, and I like that. But it's not so hot you can't eat it. Very flavorful. And what shocked me is when I tried the original one from Bobby, I liked the blackened one better. That's hard to believe. So now if I go back to Popeye's, I'm going to be getting the blackened one. I would definitely get the mango lemonade that had a nice sweet flavor to it. Like you said, it wasn't real tart. Mm -mm. I got more of the mango flavor, but just the hint of the lemonade. That was very good. And don't forget the hot apple pie. That is excellent. So if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, so until we meet again, J&B have, have left, left the building. Five and also have a ball, collect the whole bunch.